Hey guys, I had this idea I wanted to pass over to you today. I had this a while back. I was Googling around on Wikipedia though a while ago and I found out that I wasn't the first guy to have found this. Um, this has to do with quantum mechanics and in particular a literal interpretation of quantum mechanics. Uh, what I mean by that is that the, you take the definition of the wave function literally as being a collection of states that are you know, different than each other but just existing in limbo alongside each other until you, you know, observe the wave function and one state or the other collapses out of it. Uh, now, in particular, this has to do with uh, the Schrodinger's cat experiment. Uh, now, if you're not in physics, I'll just explain that a little bit. Uh, you have a, basically have a cat in a box along with a chunk of radioactive isotope which has a 50% chance of decaying or not decaying. Uh, if it decays, it triggers a gun and shoots the cat, and if it doesn't decay, well, the cat stays alive. However, before you open the box up to observe the system, it's in both states at once. And so the cat is literally both dead and alive at the same time. Now, let's try a little variation on this experiment. And instead of the cat, don't try this at home, obviously, but put yourself in the box. And, you know, before the box is opened up, or rather before you make the observation of the system, uh, you are, you know, the, the radioactive isotope is decayed and you get shot and you're killed, or you're not shot and you stay alive. And before an observation is made, you're in both states at once. So now, my question for you is, when you make the observation of the system, which, set, which state are you in? And then the uh, second question is, uh, what are the implications of this?